I wanted to talk to you guys today about soybeans. We uh, grow soybeans here on our farm and I want to tell you why. So why do farmers grow soybeans? Well, the short answer is they're a good source of protein and they keep farmers sustainable. That's it. So that's the video. Like and subscribe. Nah, I'm just kidding. Let's get into more detail. So a little history on soybeans. Um, around 1900, George Washington Carver discovered that they're a good source of protein and oil. Carver encouraged farmers to rotate soybeans in with their other crops like wheat and cotton. The rotation practice proved to be very viable and it's still being used today, even on our farm. We rotate our crops every year. By 1935, Henry Ford was using soybeans in his cars. Uh, he was using up to a bushel per car. His engineers figured out ways to use soybean oil instead of petroleum oil in their plastics and uh, we're still actually using that method today. So one of the greatest scientific advancements in soybeans was in the 90s Roundup Ready soybeans came around. So this meant that farmers could control the weeds without killing the soybean plant. This pretty much eliminated all need for cultivating while the plant is growing and less passes through the field means less fuel usage and less tillage means you're getting less soil erosion. This advancement is very valuable in food deficit areas like Africa and parts of Asia. Those regions have started adapting to this practice because they can see that they can grow more food on less land. Soybeans are grown in 31 states across the country, the top states being Iowa, Illinois, Minnesota, but um, my favorite is South Dakota, right here. So an average bushel of soybeans is 60 pounds. If you can picture a bushel basket, um, that's one bushel, and that weighs about 60 pounds. So when we process the soybeans, about 47 pounds goes to meal out of that 60 pounds, and about 11 pounds goes to oil. So after it's processed, what do we use it for? Well, a very small percentage actually goes into things like soy milk, soy sauce, things like that for human consumption. So the meal is high in protein and used mostly in animal feed. The big consumers are pigs, chickens, turkeys, and aquaculture, uh, fish. Soybean meal is being increasingly used in aquaculture. Why are they using soybeans in fish food? Well, the soybean is higher protein than traditional fish meal, which is basically leftover fish parts. The fish can digest the soy protein easier and it's a lot cheaper than traditional fish fish meal. In 2019, 41% of our total crop was exported. So the three ways that soybeans are exported is whole bean, meal, and oil, like I talked about earlier. The top countries that imported whole soybeans last year were China, the Netherlands, Mexico, and Egypt. The top meal importer was the Philippines, and the top oil importer was South Korea. So I talked a little bit about the meal, what it's used for. What about the oil? The oil is used mostly in cooking oils and biodiesel. Soy biodiesel is cleaner burning than petroleum-based diesel. It is also a renewable fuel source. Soybeans are used in a lot of surprising areas uh, and new uses it seems like are coming out every day. They're used in things like uh, building materials. Another one is candles. You can make soy candles. They burn longer and they produce less smoke and less soot. Another big use for soybeans is industrial lubricants. The soy oil can withstand higher temperatures. It's also eco-friendly. Soy ink. Uh, look at the back of a packaging that you have just laying around the house and look for a soy ink label. There's a lot of things that are printed with soy ink. That ink is less toxic and environmentally friendly. They're developing some soy foams to use in things like coolers and refrigerators. Ford has been using soybean foam in their seats in some of their vehicles. Um, in 2007 they started with the Mustang. So there's a lot of uses for soybeans. I did not go into everything here. Uh, that's just some of the, the quick bullet points I have. But I think you can see the benefits of why we grow soybeans and why it's important to the world market. If you want to learn more about soybeans I'll put a link down below to soystats.com has a bunch of uh, stats and, and numbers on it if you really want to nerd out about soybeans. I have, it's okay, you can, you can go there and look. So that's all I've got today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up 
and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.